G'day viewers, it's Michael here again for Single Racer. In one of my last videos, I did a hot lap using RSR live timing. But uh, being the dumb male that I am, I, I actually had a, a bit of trouble um, getting it to initially work. So this video is not only to show you the correct way to install it, to, to make sure it's working properly, but um, I also want to show you the result of installing it incorrectly and what you might see if that's happening to you. So this is the uh, options page. As you can see down the bottom here, this is what you normally might see on a standard uh, Assetto Corsa install. Um, and from here I'll show you the incorrect way, but I'll have a timing link in my description. Uh, to go straight to the install if that's all you want to see. But just before we get started, for anyone who doesn't know, like I did for many, many years, what actually is RSR Live Timing? Uh, I enjoy racing competitively against my brother. We do time trials where we race a particular car and track combo. We get our times down to where we feel that it's almost a perfect time, but we always actually wonder how that time compares against other drivers, especially professional racers, uh, what times would they do? So that's exactly what this is. It's a dedicated app uh, and website that logs all your times um, from all around the world, basically, and puts them in one place where you can see where you compare against a list of other drivers with that same car and that same track. So this is what the app looks like. Here is my time here that I did in the video for the Lotus 98T. Um, and I see Mike Smith has improved his time, which he um, very quickly let me know about. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can break that. And um, I think this is where I uh, actually got, not misled, but just got confused as to why I installed it incorrectly. And so this is the part that actually uh, threw me. It says, uh, make sure you have the following new folder in the, uh, and pointing to the Assetto Corsa folder, uh, RSR Live Time. So I took it as moving the actual unzipped folder, placing it in the section where I'm told to and then I renamed it to this as shown in the installation files. And now here we are back at the options menu and this is what totally threw me because there it is there. I made sure it was ticked but when I went racing nothing would happen or I couldn't find how to switch it on, uh, there was no reference to it, I, I was totally confused. Uh, and then um, I went back and sort of re-had a look at it and realised where I made the mistake. So now I'll install it correctly and let me show you why that was done. And so the mistake I was making was I was unzipping the directory, there it is there, but dragging the whole lot to the directory that I'm told to in the instruction notes uh, and renaming it to the file. So I'll delete that. And when I go back to the directory, I see the actual three folders, which I should move over instead into the actual main Assetto Corsa folder, the, the first folder. And then that joins them all together. And then what happens is if you go back to the Python directory there, there's still RSR live time because it's one of those three folders. So that includes then everything as you're supposed to install it. And the directory still ends up being there. So now let me show you what that looks like in game. 
And so now I can see that I actually have the correct install because by unzipping the folder that you get from the actual website and moving the three subfolders into the Assetto Corsa main directory, I now have two references to the RSR live timing. So if I click both of those, you'll now see an RSR live which sends you to the, the web page. And now when I race, um, you also have the correct uh, icon to start it uh, and also switch it off and um, what I'll do is I'll I'll rerun a race with the Lotus and I'll show you how that works. Uh, back again um, and uh, I've just realized I've run into a slight problem because I don't own uh, gaming headphones so I have the mic coming through the speakers so I have to have the volume quite low because uh, I'm worried about feedback so um, I'll do a race separately but I just thought I'd show you the there is your the normal icons that you get in the game where you can switch things like the pedals off and down the bottom you will see the new RSR live uh, button so if you click that then up here or wherever you put it um, it'll connect to the internet and now it'll connect to this car on this track and the actual list of, of um, number of people that have raced. Here I am at number four. And if I raced now and beat that time, I would just progress up the, uh, up the rankings. And uh, I hope to, I'm going to try for number one. And that will then, uh, you can then go to the website and... Um, see the results and uh, I'll try and do that and show you that at the end so um, just before I try the world record attempt um, I'll just show you my the settings I have everything off um, Mike and I agreed to uh, change uh, or I'll try the turbo at 100% um, Lower, uh, lower the fuel and change the tyres to qualifying so um, other than that I never change the setup in any way like camber or anything like that just leave it as is so um, let's go racing Oh, okay then. Uh, well, that was tough. Um, I'll show you the results. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get the world record. Uh, I only got second place here. But I just thought I'd end the video with uh, a couple of tips from uh, on the website. Um, the most logical place you, you would start is the world record. So... If you go if you go here here's all the cars listed at the top and the and the individual tracks and you can use your the middle mouse wheel to scroll through but it's it seems very slow and for some reason there's no slider at the top here the slider is at the bottom 
to, you know, which just seems strange to me. But anyway, but so one of the tips is if you go to this world records page, um, you can just click on any of the people and it'll take you to this better page where you have the list of all the tracks. Um, RSR website supports some mod tracks, but only like two or three. So they're all the the um, official tracks that come with the game. And on this side, of course, you have all the cars. So if we go for the example to go back to my page, there we go. We select the Lotus. We select um, uh, the Monza Junior course. And then I'm back to here. And you could just save this page or save any, if you've got a favorite track or car combination, you could just save it from there and always return. So the other tip is just um, if you're, you know, say you were in the top 50 and you're struggling to figure out how to get better, you've got this information icon. I'll just take it down a bit. And it'll, if I can hold it steady, you can get all the stats of, you know, what if people had stability control on or things like that, the temperature, which helps. Um, you can see what wheel they're using. There's my old uh, Logitech driving force. And um, probably the biggest help is the maximum speed. You know, if you uh, into changing the gearing, maybe you could push the gearing up a bit and get some extra speed. Uh, that type of thing. So I hope that helps. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to install RSR live timing. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. And um, I hope to catch you next time. Thank you.